Hello. Here we have a bottle rocket suspended from its center of gravity. Simply using a rubber band and a paper clip hook to determine that point. We conduct all our tests from the, balancing it from the center of gravity because aerodynamic forces operate around the center of gravity. We're going to find the center of lateral pressure dynamically by swinging it. Okay, I have another hook on the bottom here attached to the rubber band. More about that later. So we are going to hang it from the center of lateral, uh, from the center of gravity. And it's a dynamic test. We're going to find out where that center of lateral pressure is as it actually moves through the air by swinging it. As it swings through the air, the pressure will build up on both sides. One of these sides, the side with more pressure, is going to be pushed away from the direction of flight. Look for this. You'll find it at the maximum push along about here. When it reaches this point, hit the pause button, stop it, take a look and see if we're tipped this way or tipped this way, okay? Because once it swings back, those forces uh, get uh, opposing forces. Now, in order to make this swing faster, harder, and further, and be a bit more dramatic, I'm going to attach this weight to the hook down here in the bottom of the rubber band, okay? It's being transferred through right up to here, so I'm not hanging it on the rocket, I'm hanging it on the, on, the, on the harness here. So, let's conduct our test. We're going to come up here, let it swing broadside. Three, two, one, go. Aha! Clearly, this swung over, away from the direction of travel. So our center lateral pressure is over here somewhere. Let's move this center, move this rubber band about an inch over this way, and see if we can find that point, all right? And we have to rebalance it. So let's attach a weight. Up here on the nose. There we are. And swing it again. You should see less reaction. There we go. Three, two, one. Ah, much less reaction. But it still swung this way. So let's move this rubber band an inch further this way and see if we can find where the center of lateral pressure is. have some more weights. There we go. We're rebalanced. So let's see if we found the center of lateral pressure. Three, two, one. Oh, perfect. That's where the center of lateral pressure is. Right there. When you find these mark spots, mark them, okay? Because you're going to get confused by your results if you don't mark them. Now, that's, that location can be moved left and right, fore and aft, by adding weights or fins. Let's take these weights off here because they're temporary and only for the purpose of testing. Okay, rebalance it again. Find the center of gravity. There we go. Now I'll illustrate what you can do with some fins. All right, let's attach some fins here. There's a fin on the bottom. Now let's put a fin on the top. There we go. Now let's give it a swing. Three, two, one. Aha, look at that. Dramatic difference. Now we have a lot of air pressure up against these fins and it pushes it this way. So the center of lateral air pressure is over here somewhere. You can find it by repeating the same test we did before. But you'll notice the center of lateral pressure was up here without the fins. With the fins, it moved back to here. That means that as this descends down, air pressure is going to push here, push it nose down, and it'll become a nose dive. So it's the relationship between center of gravity, center of lateral air pressure that determines how your rocket comes down. Nose first, tail first, or horizontal. Now about the rig, you need two strings. They should be two, three, two feet or three feet apart, a meter apart. If you don't, your rocket will be free to move laterally and that will not give you accurate results. If you have one string, if you have one string 
as the pressure moves it this way, it's going to stop moving and relieve its pressure by sliding. So if with one string you will get erroneous, ambiguous results, they're going to be wrong. You must have two. Down here, you want about three inches of thin single strand string that's free to turn this way and that way. You, don't, you do not have to use the weight, but it gives you a more emphatic result. So, I hope that's a, a big help to you in finding your center of lateral pressure, which is a dynamic center, and that will help you get successful rocket shots. Thank you. Have fun.